from a certain point of view, is one of the new Star Wars Disney canon novels. Now, it's an interesting novel. It is to celebrate the 40th anniversary of A New Hope. So this is a collection of 40 different short stories by 40 different authors. Each story is uh, from the perspective of a different character from A New Hope, most of them being side characters. Some of them you would not expect to have their own short story. So in essence, it's like a behind-the-scenes look of the events from A New Hope, but from the perspective of all these different characters, sometimes these perspectives might seem unreliable. I'm not sure if that was intentional to create realism or if it was just kind of bad communication between some of these authors because there was a few inconsistencies. Now there's quite a few authors that wrote for this book that you might be familiar with. Uh, some of them include Claudia Gray who is one of my all-time favorite Star Wars writers. Uh, there's also Christy Golden who is really good. There's John Jackson Miller uh, as well as Chuck Wendig who probably isn't a fan favorite as well as quite a few more authors, some of them I haven't really heard of before. Now, I decided to listen to the audiobook version of this. In case you don't know, the Star Wars audiobooks are amazing. They tend to have a ton of sound effects, like robot noises and uh, lightsaber sounds and just atmospheric effects. And with this audiobook, we do get different voice actors voicing each story, and the voice actors are pretty good. There's Neil Patrick Harris, uh, there's Ashley Eckstein, who is the voice of Ashoka in The Clone Wars, as well as Star Wars Rebels, and a bunch of others that I won't bother mentioning, but it's definitely worth checking out the audiobook if you are interested in that. Now, something that I found to be really cool is that none of these authors are actually being paid for these stories. All the profits from this book are going to a nonprofit charity organization called First Book, which is uh, working to help educate children who come from low-income families. So by buying this book, you'll be supporting a charity. Now, let me tell you, you get some pretty crazy perspectives in this book that you probably weren't expecting. I mean, you get the perspective of R5-D5, that little red droid that was captured by the Jawas and put up for sale uh, along with R2-D2 and C-3PO. You also get a fun story about one of those Jawas who helped capture R2-D2 and is living in a sand crawler. I mean, you even get a read from the perspective of the trash compactor monster, which by the way, she has a name. Her name is Omi. And while this anthology is mostly focused on some of those just odd characters, there's also stories from characters that are more familiar. You get stories from Greedo, uh, from Tarkin, from Qui-Gon Jinn. Actually, the Qui-Gon Jinn story by Claudia Gray definitely is, I think, one of my favorites out of this anthology. Now, that's about all I'm going to say about this story, because I'm, I'm sure you have watched A New Hope, and if you haven't, you should probably go and watch A New Hope. Now, I feel like this anthology's main focus is just to answer some of those questions that fans have been asking for a long time time, just some of the uh, inconsistencies and little plot holes that were in A New Hope, and I feel like this anthology gives a lot of those answers. It answers a lot of small things, like for example, why the gunner never shot down the escape pod from Princess Leia's ship, and it answers that in a pretty humorous way, which was kind of refreshing, and it's nice because this anthology does have a lot of humor in it, even though there's quite a few depressing stories as well. So now I just want to talk about the overall quality of these stories. I felt like there was a few gems in there, some stories that I felt were really good, and they probably could have been books on their own just from the idea. Uh, then there was other ones that were just, they were fun. Um, they're fun, they're nice to read, but I feel like I'll probably end up forgetting them. Uh, then the rest was just kind of a mix of like, decent to bad stories. Could be worse. It's worse. Just the quality of these stories are drastically uneven. Some of them are good, um, the majority of them aren't really that great at all. There was a few stories in here where I just felt like I had to hit the accelerator. And I actually sped these ones up in Audible because they were just kind of boring and actually repetitive, which is not a good thing for short stories. Now, I think it's also important to mention that a lot of these take place in the cantina or just somewhere on Tatooine. And usually I love a really good Tatooine story, even though they've been overdone quite a bit. Um, but at the same time, none of these there, there were very few of these that actually stuck out to me and were interesting, and there are so many different planets that could have been in this. Now, maybe I am in the minority here because I have looked on Goodreads and other review sites, and a lot of people are raving about this anthology, but I was just, I was pretty disappointed. I feel like it could have been so much better. Maybe I am being too critical. Maybe this was a fun book, and I've just been looking at it in a critical light. Maybe I was in the wrong mood while reading this anthology. I don't know. And this also kind of relates to my overall opinion of the new Star Wars movies. I feel like they're fun, and I enjoyed them, but at the same time, they don't exactly feel like classic Star Wars, and that's what this anthology doesn't feel like. It doesn't feel like A New Hope. So, of course, with all of this being said, I don't feel like I can fully recommend this anthology to you. However, I do know a lot of people will enjoy it, because if I look on Goodreads, people obviously have enjoyed it, and I think 
Um, I think maybe if you're just looking for a Star Wars novel, really anything, just to give you some more answers, and just for a little bit of fun, some pointless fun, that doesn't really make a grand impact on the events of Star Wars as a whole, then you might enjoy this book. Like I said, it wasn't all bad. I felt like there was a few gems in there, uh, and I still am glad that I read it. So. so let me know if you've read this anthology. Maybe tell me your favorite story from the anthology. Like I said, I think mine has to be the Qui-Gon Jinn one. It kind of gives us some extra details on being a Force ghost, so that was kind of interesting. And the trash compactor monster was pretty interesting as well. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want to be notified for when I post another video, and I will see you guys next time.